game involving Norfolk State and Delaware State. This one coming up at 7.30 Eastern time, where Norfolk State as a road team is favored by 13 and a half, a total of 134 and a half. Corby Craig, slim pickings on a Monday, but what drew you to this one? What is the play? Yeah, it was rough. Even worse is that this number fell down from the number I got at 136. So uh, we're working with very slim pickings here. But Norfolk's a team that is not uh, – first off, let's just get out of the way. I am on the under 134.5. I think that was pretty much assumed. Um, <laughs> Norfolk being this big of a favorite, it, it impresses me because I, I really am not that big on Norfolk. But the main thing here is Norfolk's not going to push tempo. They're 292nd in tempo. Uh, as we alluded to Friday, TJ and I talked about it on the last show – uh, when they play teams that are not good, like non-D1 teams, they're not pushing any pace. They scored, they went 72 possessions versus a team I don't even want to try to say. Uh, and that was the most possessions they've had in a non-D1 game um, other than the season opener at Lynchburg. But uh, they're not pushing tempo by any means. Delaware State has, but it's due to the fact they're just not good. They're 359th in um, Ken Palm rating. So this is just two really bad teams. One is significantly worse than the other. And the one that... Is better uh, is the slow tempo and, and not going to try to push any pace here. So we're absolutely scraping on a Monday, um, and 134 and a half under is where I would lead with here. All right. Uh, we do have an 11-win Norfolk State team against a 1-win Delaware State team. Mid-Major Matt, any thoughts here on this one before we move along? I uh, I like this Norfolk State team in terms of the MIAC. I mean, Joe Bryant's pretty good. Christian Ings is pretty good. Chris Bankston's pretty good. So the, I think, once again, they are the class of the MIAC uh, this year, much like they were last year. Looking at this uh, team, these two playing each other, they saw each other three times last year and went under this number all three times. So it, it was kind of an aggressive number, I would say. The one thing is that uh, Delaware State's defense isn't very good. They've given up a ton of points, but they are home, so maybe they could play a little bit better. But they also lost 75-69 to something called Georgian Court at home. So uh, I don't know what to expect <laughs> from the Hornets here, but uh, Norfolk State should get this win rather easily. And Corby Craig says, keep it low, fellas. Keep that total down. He is playing the under. And again, for those that may be new to the show, may be finding us out of the college football season, et cetera, Corby has rolled throughout this early part of November and December with unders. He says, lock it in on Norfolk State, Delaware State. He will take the under in this matchup under 134 and a half. Get some questions and answers ready. You see, we don't have much of a slate here. We'll get some Q&A going. Uh, including what might be looking ahead to Tuesday and our show tomorrow. Let's continue.